Hi, I'm Jenna with Present Path Tarot, and I want to share today about the wands element. So in the Tarot, the Rider-Waite-Smith deck here is presenting the 1 through 10 of wands. Um, wands are all about fire, and fire is about energy, and it's about the energy output that you're doing. It's about the um, desire you have, the passion you have, the action of things. So the Ace of Wands is like that spark that initiation, that match going off. Um, and so, you know, it's not the idea, it's the impulse. And then the two of wands, that is that beginning of like, well, what am I going to do with this impulse? You know, what, how am I going to move forward with it? And it's a sort of planning. And then the three of wands takes you into like, all right, I'm ready to move. I'm I have my plan in order, and now I have the impulse to follow through on it, which we all know some of us get through step one and two and then drop things a lot, right? Four brings in a sense of community. This is also related to a lot of people associate this card with weddings and large events because it's now we're including the community in our event. We're bringing other people's energies together with our energy. Five of Wands is when that energy bringing together, when, when all that energy coming together becomes messy. <laughs> so conflict, battles, you know, things get riled up. And then we come down to the Six of Wands, and the battle has occurred. You have overcome it. You have found peace, hopefully. Now you are returning home. And so three, six, and nine in Tarot are like, levels like three is like a, a beginner level six is an apprentice level and nine is an, a mastery level and ten is like um a, a, the excess so you go from five and then you get over to your your wands of six which is returning to accolades now that energy you have output that thing you have accomplished is coming back to you is is getting regarded by the society and it's also a thing of, of, you know, you're still moving forward toward this thing. You're not done yet, but people are starting to give you recognition somehow. But then the Seven of Wands happens, and again, we're in a sort of battle. But before it was more of a conflict, and now it's more of a keep your, keep your guns up, keep rocking through. You know, you're now a warrior of this particular desire that you began with just an ace, right? You began with just that impulse, and now you have drawn yourself forward into a level towards mastery of kicking butt, taking names. And then the Eight of Wands is focus. You now have all of your energy drawn toward one singular focus with a lot of energy being output, but in a very productive way. And Nine of Wands is interesting to me because Nine of Wands now takes us into a place of been there, done that, you have accomplished a lot, and you're tired, <laughs> you know, you're, you're starting to burn out. 10 is burnout. 10 is like you're, you've done too much, you're overdoing it. So in a sense, I like to think of the wands as staying with the eight of wands means that you're staying in a place where you're able to be focused on something. You're able to remain um, dedicated toward one direction. Wands can often lean into that idea of doing putting too much energy into something, putting too little energy into something, finding your pace with things, you know, the rhythm with which you're moving through life. So when you get into a wands suit in your pull and your tarot spreads, just notice this is how my energy is moving. This is how I'm dedicating my effort into this. And make that the focus of what that energy is about. Not, it's not about thought, it's not about emotion, and it's not about um, the, the practical or the earthy of things. This is just the drive, the impetus, the movement, the energy behind things. So that's a quick overview of wands. We could talk for hours on it, but today I just want to give you a little, a little dip into understanding what the wands are about. So also, if you're interested in joining my email list, I will send you a PDF that covers a fun overview of all the minor elements and how you can think about them in a unique way that will help you remember them better. So you can join my email list by going to um, 
presentpathtoroe.com slash readings and hit subscribe to the email. And I also offer tutoring if you ever want to have a one-on-one -on -one to get better, deeper understanding into how to read. And if you enjoyed this, you're welcome to um, subscribe to my page. So I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for joining.